Hi, I'm John Wright for Wilcom Discovery. In this video I'd like to look at creating a matrix of team names with each name surrounded by a border. So the first thing I would do is create the border. Now I don't have to worry too much about the dimensions of, of it just so long as I make a border. We'll resize that, that later. So I've used the input C object and uh, just make sure that it's in satin stitch and I'll change the color of it too. Okay, now over to the team names. If I select one of the pre predefined lists, and I've got uh, quite a few names in the nurses list, just shoot them onto the right hand side, and you can do your normal editing from here, and then just go OK, and click on the screen. Again, it doesn't matter where you click. Um, now gather all of the design, so select everything, and then in your Arrange toolbar, align on centers, so that all the names will be centered inside that single um, border. Now, at this stage, if you needed to change the size of the border, you can do so. So I'm holding my Shift key down to drag it a little wider, and Shift key again, so that it, it moves from the center. So I'm just making it a little shorter. And we'll come to the properties of our Input C object, and make the column width about um, about two millimeters. Okay, so all of the names are centered in that one single border at this stage. Now we come to our matrix tool, and we've got a few couple of choices here. We can put it out in our hoop height and width. It will calculate, or it knows that there are 15 names, and that we want to output one file. So it gives us our row and column, uh, row height and column widths. We're going to have six rows and three columns of lettering. And we can determine the sequence that we want the machine to stitch our designs. And we can also choose to minimize colors so that we'll do all of the um, all of one color and then come back and do all of the second color. If I don't s select this, it will do the name and the border, the name and the border, the name and the border, and so on. So we just go OK and give the program a few seconds to generate all of the designs. Okay, and you'll notice at this stage it, the the names haven't been completed, like the stitches haven't been generated, and that's just so that the program can handle the task more quickly. So what we need to do then is hit the letter G in our keyboard, and all of the lettering will be generated. So it's a very quick process and very flexible. Thank you for watching.